Daniel Craig has now given his opinion on the reports that he was at one time part of MCU's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Even though Benedict Cumberbatch's sequel did not comprise as many multiverse shenanigans as was anticipated, the film did investigate one delightful concept, the Illuminati. But is it even true that Daniel Craig was once part of Doctor Strange? Let's start by digging a little deeper first. When arriving on Earth 838, the narrative brought forth the powerful team of heroes safeguarding that reality. Reality. This group included Professor X, Reed Richards, Captain Carter, Captain Marvel, Black Bolt, and Master Mordo. Nevertheless, some formerly revealed concept art demonstrated another major character who was initially intended to be a part of the entertainment, Balder the Brave. What's more, Daniel Craig was supposed to be in the part. Taking a look at the aforesaid concept art, there is an unmistakable likeness to Craig. However, the actor himself has never commented on the assertions. During an interview with Josh Horowitz of Happy be sad, confused, Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Actor Daniel Craig addressed the gossip that he was once slated to have a small part in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. When asked if he had any familiarity with the character Balder the Brave, Craig answered in the negative. Then, when Horowitz brought up the rumors of Craig's involvement in Doctor Strange, the actor responded evasively, saying, I don't know what you're talking about, while taking a sip of his drink. Horowitz went on to ask if Craig would consider taking a job in the Marvel Cinematic Universe universe, to which the actor responded with a laugh, saying he would take any job if the hours were good, sure, and absolute. With that being said, what are some of the Marvel characters that Daniel Craig would perfectly play? The first one is Baldur the Brave. From what we know, Baldur the Brave is a character from Norse mythology who is known for his wisdom, bravery, and skills in battle. In Norse myths, he is usually portrayed as a wise and fair ruler who is loved by all the gods and goddesses. He is also considered a god of light and peace. In some versions of the myths, Baldur is also portrayed as a god of poetry, music, and dance. Craig has a track record of portraying strong, confident, and complex characters in his acting career. In the role of James Bond, he has shown that he is capable of conveying a sense of nobility and duty, as well as a sense of wit and sarcasm. These skills would serve him well in the role of Baldur the Brave, as the character is often depicted as a wise and fair ruler who is admired by others. Additionally, Craig has shown that he is capable of conveying a range of emotions in his performances, which would would be important in the role of Baldur the Brave. The character is often depicted as being compassionate and kind, as well as being a skilled warrior. Craig's ability to portray a range of emotions would allow him to bring depth and complexity to the character of Baldur the Brave. While it is not certain if Daniel Craig will be considered for the role of Baldur the Brave in any future MCU films, it is possible that he could bring a sense of wisdom, bravery, and complexity to the character. His performances as James Bond and other characters have shown that he is capable of conveying a range of emotions and characteristics that would be important in the role of Baldur the Brave. Next is Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister, also known as Nathaniel Essex, is a Marvel Comics villain known for his exceptional intelligence, genetic experimentation, and telepathic abilities. He is a cold and calculating scientist with a vast array of abilities. He is a strong villain that can hold his own against the X-Men. Daniel Craig is a versatile actor known for his performances in a wide range of genres and characters. He has shown a great ability to portray complex and morally ambiguous characters with depth, intensity, and intelligence. His portrayal of James Bond has shown that he can play a character who is cold and calculating, making him a strong fit for the role of Mr. Sinister. Craig's ability to convey a sense of intelligence and calculation would be crucial in the portrayal of Mr. Sinister. He would be able to give the villain a sense of ruthless cunning and manipulation, while also being able to convey the character's sense of scientific curiosity and experimentation. Craig's portrayal of James Bond and other characters has shown that he can convey a sense of coldness, which would be important for the role of Mr. Sinister. Additionally, Mr. Sinister is a character that is known for his telepathic abilities. He has the power to manipulate minds, read thoughts, and erase memories. Craig's acting ability to deliver intense and nuanced scenes with heavy emotional undertones could be a great fit for portraying the complex nature of Mr. Sinister's mind manipulation powers, giving a layer of depth and nuance to the villain's actions and motivations. By all standards, Daniel Craig would be be a great fit for the role of Mr. Sinister in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His ability to portray complex, morally ambiguous characters and convey a sense of intelligence, coldness, and calculation would be crucial to bringing the villain to life on screen. Craig's acting range would allow him to bring depth and nuance to the character, making for a strong and formidable villain in any MCU film. The third character is Captain Britain. Captain Britain, also known as Brian Braddock, is a Marvel Comics superhero who is the protector of the British Isles. 
balance. He possesses superhuman strength, speed, endurance, and agility, as well as the ability to fly. He also possesses a high level of intelligence and is an expert in various forms of combat. He is often portrayed as a hero who is dedicated to serving and protecting his country. Daniel Craig would be a great fit for the role of Captain Britain because of his ability to portray strong, confident, and complex characters with depth, intensity, and intelligence. His portrayal of James Bond has shown that he can play a character who is physical, confident, and skilled. His acting ability to deliver intense and nuanced scenes would be important for capturing the character's heroic nature and the weight of responsibility that comes with being Captain Britain. In the comics, Captain Britain is often portrayed as a hero who is dedicated to serving and protecting his country. Craig's portrayal of Bond has shown that he can convey a sense of duty and responsibility. This ability would be important in the role of Captain Britain, as he is a hero who is deeply dedicated to serving and protecting his country, often putting his own needs aside for the greater good. Additionally, Captain Britain's character arc often involves personal struggles and inner turmoil, as he tries to balance his responsibilities as a superhero with his personal life. Craig's ability to convey a range of emotions and to portray characters who are struggling with their inner demons would allow him to bring depth and complexity to the character of Captain Britain. With all these, we can undeniably say that Daniel Craig would be a great fit for the role of Captain Britain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His ability to portray strong, confident, and complex characters with depth and intensity, as well as his ability to convey a sense of duty and responsibility, would be important in bringing the character to life on screen. Craig's acting range would allow him to deliver an engaging and compelling portrayal of Captain Britain. Next is Magneto. Magneto, also known as Max Eisenhart, is a Marvel Comics villain and a mutant who possesses the ability to control and manipulate metal. He is a complex and morally ambiguous character who is often portrayed as a tragic figure, who is driven by his past experiences and a desire to protect mutants. He is a powerful figure who is capable of holding his own against the X-Men and other superheroes. Daniel Craig would be a great fit for the role of Magneto because of his ability to portray complex and morally ambiguous characters with depth, intensity, and intelligence. His portrayal of James Bond has shown that he can play a character who is cold, calculating, and determined. These qualities would serve him well in the role of Magneto, as the character is often portrayed as a powerful and determined figure who is driven by a desire to protect mutants and avenge his past. In the comics, Magneto is often portrayed as a tragic figure who is haunted by his past experiences and driven to take extreme actions to protect mutants. Craig has shown in his performances that he can convey a sense of inner turmoil, and this ability would be important for capturing the character's internal struggles and motivations. Craig's ability to convey a range of emotions would also allow him to bring depth and nuance to the character, making for a compelling and dynamic portrayal of Magneto. Additionally, Magneto's powers are often portrayed as a central part of his character, and Craig's ability to convey a sense of power and control would serve him well in the role. He could also convey a sense of anger, despair, and desperation when it comes to Magneto's unending quest to protect mutants and create a world where they are accepted and safe. Last but not least is Professor X. From what we all know, guys, Professor X X, also known as Charles Xavier, is a Marvel Comics character who is the leader of the X-Men and a powerful telepath. He is often portrayed as a wise and compassionate leader who is dedicated to protecting mutants and helping them to use their powers for the greater good. Professor X is a central character in the X-Men comics and films and is known for his strong moral compass, his leadership abilities, and his powers of telepathy. Daniel Craig would be a great fit for the role of Professor X because of his ability to portray complex, morally ambiguous characters characters with depth, intensity, and intelligence. His portrayal of James Bond has shown that he can play a character who is strong, confident, and in control. These qualities would serve him well in the role of Professor X, as the character is often portrayed as a leader who is dedicated to helping others and using his powers for the greater good. In the comics, Professor X is often portrayed as a wise and compassionate leader who is dedicated to helping mutants and promoting coexistence between mutants and non-mutants. Craig's ability to convey a sense of morality and compassion would be important for capturing the character's dedication to the betterment of society. Craig's ability to convey a range of emotions would also allow him to bring depth and nuance to the character, making for a compelling and dynamic portrayal of Professor X. Anyway guys, that's all we had for now. We would love to hear your thoughts and views on what Daniel Craig said concerning the ongoing Marvel casting rumors. Do you believe there is more to this than what's in the public domain? Also, please share some of the Marvel characters you feel we have left out of our list that you believe Daniel Craig could perfectly play. We appreciate your time and support. Please remember to subscribe, 
like, and share our channel. See you soon in our next episode. Cheers!